Welcome back everybody to Desert Alex, and today we're unboxing the Resistance Tech Rose from the Star Wars Black series, and this one is by Hasbro. I do remember her from The Last Jedi as she had taken on a lead role, but I also remember that she got a lot of internet bullying, which is terrible because I thought that she did a pretty good job. But here's a quick spin of the box, and what we get is a very simplistic black and red theme with some text on the back. Alright, you know what time it is. Next we have the figure and it's clear in a packaging and everything you can see from the front of the box is exactly what you get on the inside. There isn't even this boring black base to speak of which satisfies me more because I would rather get nothing than a boring black base. Starting off with accessories she does come with two. The first is this really cool bronze looking assault rifle and then as well she comes with this tiny walkie talkie which attaches to her hip belt. As for Peyton's sculpt, she is wearing that suit straight from the movie. I'm not the biggest fan of mustard yellow, but I do recognize that a lot of work uniforms aren't designed to just look good. What I do really like is the lettering on the suit, then as well there is tiny little sculpted tool details, and then as well the jean-like fabric is meticulously detailed and gives the idea of realism. As for range of motion, these Hasbro figures have been doing pretty well as their arms bend past the 90 degree angle and then as well their knees are double jointed. As for Rose, she does an excellent job of meeting these expectations as her knees are double jointed and then as well her arms bend past the 90 degree angle. So she is definitely capable of pulling off a number of dynamic poses. So there she is next to Vic Major. There she is next to Michael Myers by NECA. There she is next to Reika from Gantz. And lastly, there she is next to One Force Karyoko, the bunny version. Alright, so overall I really like having this figure. She comes with great quality, an excellent range of motion, and comes with two really neat accessories. The drawback though is that that is all she comes with. There are no extra face plates, there are no extra hands, really it's just the bare minimum. But for 20 bucks, she is pretty good to have. And then as well, she, I guess she didn't sell very well, so she is probably something you could pick up on eBay for about 10 or 15 bucks. Otherwise that is it for me, please leave a like and subscribe, comment your thoughts, follow me in my figure collection, and I'll see you guys next time.